Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and here are some forbidden romance recommendations. I have a lot of forbidden romance rec videos, so I'll link them down below. I think I have like a whole playlist, so go wild, go for it. Um, but here are 10 more that I have not talked about yet in those videos. First is Torn by Kieran Cole. This one is a favorite like taboo romance. It's a romance between our heroine and her dad's best friend. At first when I heard that, I was like, okay, that's kind of creepy. I don't know if I could get on board, but they kind of, they grew up together. They were both kids together. Um, her parents had her at like 15 years old. So the hero was like 15 when she was was born and so they kind of like grew up together. I see it more as like a friends to lovers. It's definitely friends to lovers. They don't have any romantic feelings for each other until she's like 18 years old, but it's obviously forbidden because that is her dad's best friend. So when romantic feelings start, they definitely don't tell anyone. <laughs> at all. Next I have Snow by Sophie Lark. So this is a mafia book. It is a second book in her Underworld series, Mafia Romance series, but I feel like this is a standalone read. Like you can read this one as a standalone. Her heroine's father is indebted to one of the mafia families and he's basically like blackmailing her. Like, hey, I won't kill your father or take away your father's business if you become the mafia doctor for our family because she just graduated from medical school and she's like, crap. Like she had all these plans that she wanted to do when she graduated college, but she's stuck. Like she wants to save her father and her father's life and their legacy of owning this restaurant. And so she decides to become, or not really willingly decides to become the mafia doctor. While she's a doctor, she ends up meeting Snow, who is a part of the underground fighting ring that these mafia families like bet on. And it is forbidden because the man who's blackmailing her would definitely not approve, like not approve. And so she's trying to stay in his good graces because like, he threatened her father. So they do keep their relationship a secret once they get things started. They kind of have like this instant connection. So it's not insta love, but the moment that their eyes meet, they like have this like connection together. So if you want something like that, I definitely recommend this one. Another mafia one is Burned Dreams. This one's about Alessandro and Ravenna. Alessandro was married and this horrible mafia man actually ended up being the reason his wife was murdered. Like he murdered his wife. And it's been like eight years, I wanna say, like years of plotting his revenge, but he is going to kill this man. And he's also going to kill his wife. He's like wants retaliation, wants him to experience the same thing that happened to him. So he actually sneaks in to his house, like he doesn't know who this man is, right? And ends up being hired to become the bodyguard to his wife. And he's like fully planning on like killing her at some point. He's like, I gotta get close to this woman, I'm gonna kill her. Then he realizes that Ravenna is not in this marriage willingly and that she is being abused by her husband, like physically, sexually abused by her husband. And he's like, oh, hell no. He's like, hell no. And he ends up actually falling in love with her. So yeah, it is forbidden because like her husband is so, so, so possessive. The reason why he hires the hero is because there's like rumors around that people think he's gay. I'm not gay. He don't know that though. So yeah, but anytime a man even like looks at or touches his wife, he like kills them. But he's like, oh, it's fine. You're gay. Like it's fine. I'm like, I'm not, but okay. <laughs> so yeah, when they do finally realize their feelings for each other, like yeah, it is good. But then they also have to like keep it Definitely a secret because both of them would be killed. Next, I have Bring Down the Stars by Emma Scott. This is the first book in a duet. And you have to read them together to get the happy ending. <laughs> this one is forbidden on just like one character's part, I want to say. Essentially, our heroine of this story. This is a love triangle romance, by the way. So our heroine of the story, she goes to college and she ends up meeting this guy, throwing her on football. I think he like accidentally hits her with the football or something. And they have this like great little like meet cute kind of. And then later on in the day, she ends up meeting a different guy at the library who is our hero. And he's like this gruff, broody guy, okay? And they have a great connection, great conversation. Then when they're talking in the library, the first guy shows up and he's like, oh my gosh, how do you two know each other? Turns out the two guys are best friends, they're roommates, they've known each other for years. When the second guy who met her realizes, oh gosh, my best friend is into her, he takes a step back. Even though he knows like, oh my gosh, this woman is everything, he takes a step back because he knows like his best friend has been through a lot and he honestly doesn't think that she would choose himself over his best friend. So he's like, oh, I'm just saying step back. And plus like he met her first. So um, so it's forbidden on his part because he has these feelings that are just pent up for this woman because 
his best friend ends up dating her and all this stuff. I can't really go too much into it because I don't want to spoil it, but it is a duet. So you need to read book number two as well. Next is Kissing Kosher by Jean Meltzer. I read this one last year and it was my favorite, one of my favorite books of the year. It was so good. The beginning of the story starts with our hero getting hired at this Jewish bakery that Avital, our heroine, is the manager of with her twin brother. Her family owns the bakery. I forget the hero's name, but he ends up working there, starting there, and it's a romance between Avital and him. It's very slow burn though. The heroine's not fast to uh, trust people. And the hero has a secret himself. He's actually been sent like undercover by his grandfather who has a rivaling business to like get like their secret babka recipe that everyone is like obsessed with. He doesn't want to do it obviously, but his grandfather like threatened him with like something. Um, I can't remember what it is, but anyway, he ends up falling for Avital and he's like, frick, like I have this secret and like my grandfather would hate me <laughs> if he realized what is going on. He has to keep his feelings a secret. And yeah, it is forbidden also when they get together because it's also like kind of like a workplace romance and yeah the chronic illness representation here is so good the heroine has like chronic pelvic floor pain sorry that was a tongue twister for me chronic pelvic floor pain and um has a specific name for the condition i can't remember off the top of my head but the hero is so sweet with the caretaking i love a man who caretakes for a woman who has a chronic illness like i've said that so many times he goes to so many great lengths to help her feel comfortable at work and I love him. Next is The Plus One by Maisie Eddings. This was a fake dating romance um, with enemies to lovers. Like they don't like each other, but they fake date to get back at her ex who showed up to this wedding with a date <laughs> with the woman he cheated on her with as his date. And so they like fake date to kind of like get back at him, but it is forbidden. I'm not gonna go into the details why, but it is forbidden for them to be together. But the fake, this is fake dating obviously. So it's fake date to lovers. And I don't normally love that trope, but this one did it so well. And I loved our hero and his inner turmoil with what he has to go through through his job. He is a doctor in third world countries that are going through war. And so he's experienced a lot and he's kind of traumatized and he's dealing with that at the moment. So um, anyway though, there is a forbidden aspect in here that I'm not gonna delve too much into. I don't wanna spoil anything. I don't like spoiling things. <laughs> the next book that I have is a novella. This is Dad Bod Dreams by Cassie Mint. It is a novella, so it's fairly short, um, but it's a romance with our heroines best friend's dad. <laughs> we also have a plus size hero, so I love that representation, um, but our heroine's best friend's dad is hosting her for the summer because she doesn't have anywhere else to live for the summer, and yet yeah, they end up they end up revealing their feelings during that time, but it's just a short little novella if you want something fun to read. Next is Release by Claire Kent. This is one of her like sci-fi books, so it takes place on another planet. It's like a royalty planet that Claire Kent like created. The heroine is the sister to the queen of the planet, the matriarch, and a lot of the men on this planet like are out to woo the queen right and so our hero is one of them he's like lined up to like woo her but he's actually not there like to do that he's there undercover um for a specific reason i don't want to spell it but he's there undercover and the queen's sister who's our heroine ends up catching his eye but any of the queen's suitors like literally can get <laughs> killed off if um they have their attention set to anyone else so um when they realize they have feelings for each other they have to like keep it secret because like they could be killed so heartless duke by scarlet scott is an interesting one um so it's the sequel to nobody's duke which i love that one um but anyway the heroine of heartless duke was the kind of like villain in book number one so i don't want to spoil it i do recommend reading these books in order okay the hero is a part of this like duke society who like are also detectives anyway so the hero ends up taking the woman who was the villain in book number one and bringing him to, bringing her to his house and basically kidnapping her and keeping her there and wants to know all of her secrets is interrogating her and keeping her locked up in this house and they end up falling for each other throughout that the heroine has her reasons for doing what she did and they're very personal and when the hero realizes like what she did and the reasons behind it he like has like some change of heart so but it is forbidden because like people know that she tried to do something bad and um people would definitely ridicule him for wanting to be with her and the last one that i have is a fantasy romance this is prize of the warlord by rebecca f kenny the heroine gets kidnapped by our hero he's like a war barbarian and her father stole his people's land and he's like okay i'll give you your daughter back if you give me the land back. So he's basically keeping her as ransom until he gets his land back for his people. And throughout her kidnapping and stay in his camp with his people, she ends up falling for 
the people there, the culture, as well as the hero himself. But it is forbidden because he literally kidnapped her and he hates her father. There's also great representation here. I've never read a fantasy book with like food allergies and the heroine has like a bunch. And I think she also has asthma if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I've never read that in a fantasy book before that point. So it was great. Anyways, there you have it. Those are some forbidden romances. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a, what emoji should we do? Let's do a star, a star emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.